Hi, this is the unboxing of a VICI VC8145 dual display multimeter. So let's see what we get inside the box. Well, first of all, there's a set of probes. There's a temperature probe. A pair of uh, what look like uh, crocodile clip probes, a serial cable, some software, and the user manual. So, the contents of the box again we've got the multimeter probe leads, we've got a temperature probe, uh, the software, computer software, we've got the serial cable. A couple of um, crocodile clip, short crocodile clip leads, and a 26 page manual, which actually is uh, all in English, so it's quite a comprehensive manual as far as today is concerned. As you can see from the manual, it says it's an 80,000 count uh, bench digital multimeter. So, what else is inside the box? Well, we've got the power cable and obviously the multimeter. On the back of the meter there is a voltage select switch. Be aware that when mine was delivered it was switched to the 230 volt setting. So that needs to be switched down to the, well for me at least, to the correct voltage of the 115 volt setting. So on the back we also have a serial connection so that's the RS232 interface connection which is a little outdated today um, it's uh, would normally be today would be a USB interface so this is uh, somewhat outdated obviously a power connection with what looks like a, uh, a fuse built in here, the power selection and the serial number. Underneath we have the tilting bale which slides out and it's able to be positioned in multiple places here to uh, give different angles of display. powering on the meter goes through a series of uh, self-tests and the backlight is not on currently so I'm going to put the backlight on so uh, it's easy to see on the uh, display here so it's a nice strong backlight so on the front of the meter we have the usual sort of controls we've got voltage selection for voltage DC, voltage AC, got quite a loud beep, millivolt range for AC DC, and milliamp range AC DC, ohms, we've got capacitance meter, diode check, and continuity. We've got a frequency counter, the backlight on and off, the 20 amp range for AC DC, temperature measurement and a what looks like square wave frequency output. Notice on the display we have two displays here for information. So selecting diode test on the meter, it looks like the maximum output from the meter is around 3.2 volts. There is a separate terminal for 20 amp current measurement, the milliamp measurements, the common terminal, and temperature, voltage, resistance, frequency, and the output frequency that's generated.
Initial testing of the meter found that it wasn't measuring continuity with the provided crocodile clip leads. The probe leads have these removable caps uh, to make more of the probe available or visible. But of course if you're working on very small circuitry then you'd probably want to keep these caps in place to only reveal the very tips of the probes. When shorting the probes together you can hear a very loud beep from the meter indicating a short or continuity. So it looks as though one of the or both of the clip leads appear to be faulty. Testing one of the clip leads I found that the red clip short clip lead was intermittent. So it looks like the, the brake is up here at the end of the, or where the wire goes into the connector. Contacting the supplier, they sent me a new set of probe leads, a new serial cable and a new temperature sensor. Unfortunately, they didn't send me a new set of clip leads, which is where the fault actually lies. But that's probably my fault because although I did say it was a clip lead that was faulty, um, they did ask for a photograph which I haven't sent as yet. And so they sent what they thought I required. So we'll put that one on me. And considering these leads are relatively inexpensive, I think this is excellent customer service. The fact that they provided a set of probes, um, a set of regular probes, uh, even though they didn't provide these, I can pick up a pair of these relatively inexpensive off, uh, off eBay. You'll notice that the meter also has a bar graph scale here at the bottom. So let's uh, get it to do some measurement here. So you can see the bar graph uh, varying. By holding the timer button, it goes from auto to APO. It's actually the RS232 that's been turned on and off up the top here, but it also turns on the auto power off if you hold it down for a couple of seconds. So it's quoted as being an ACDC true RMS uh, meter. The manual is quoting it to be CAT2 1000 volt and CAT3 600 volt uh, standard. So if we look closer here we'll see that uh, it's got the two displays, multi-display, primary 80,000 count, secondary 80,000 counts and the bar graph 23 segments. 50 measuring functions which include DC volts, AC volts, DC current, AC current, resistance, capacitance, frequency and temperature, diode and continuity. 18 types of frequency, frequency up to 80 MHz, uh, 1800 waveform outputs and a duty cycle between 0.1 Hz, uh, sorry 0.1% and 99%. You can also have simultaneous display of AC and DC, AC frequency, DC DBM, DBM and frequency, frequency and duty cycle, and both temperatures in centigrade and Fahrenheit. Auto data update, auto data hold, auto peak hold, and also a recording capability up to 36 hours. 
and of course not to forget the RS232 interface and the software is included. Whether the software will work with Windows 10, I'm not quite sure. That's something that uh, I need yet to test.